Hello guys, welcome back to part 87 of What a Legend, I'm Mosquito TK, let's go! Okay, I'm sorry, that was unkind perhaps, but you're not making sense. I didn't want to be a better person because I fell in love with you. I wanted to be a better person because I saw something in your palm that gave me hope. What? Shortly after I was cured, I read my future and saw someone bearing a strange mark was destined to free me from my demon. You can imagine how they searched everywhere for this person, reading the palm of everyone I met. But with years, I gave up hope, believing I would never be free again. That changed the night you first visited me. Because when I read your destiny, I saw the mark in your palm, and that meant hope. For real? Are you saying I'm destined to free you? It doesn't mean you have to do anything, but I swear that I'm telling you is the truth. From that moment on, I have kept my demon in chains. Great. Just great. First she almost kills me, then she tells me how she used to let the demon do what she wanted, and now she's emotionally do convincing me to help her. <clears throat> is she tough? Or is she really just telling the truth? Hey, she mentioned she's cursed, right? I better have to use my semen on the demon to break that curse. That must be what she saw. And I have been alone with her many times, cooking food, making glue, even talking about helping Myrtle. If she wanted to kill me or become the demon, she would have done it by now. And she always seemed like she was holding something back, like trying to control herself. So I guess she's telling the truth. Listen, I don't expect you to want me to help. After hearing what I said, you shouldn't have to go out of your way to fix the many mistakes I have made in my life. But please don't tell anyone about it yet. I promise to wear my chains day and night if I have to. At least not until I... You won't have to, because I'm going to help you, Rose. Really? Sure, I gave you hope, didn't I? That makes me practically responsible, but I get rid of the demon. I can, I want every villager to come here and formally thank me for saving their life. Oh, Misky! Rose didn't seem like the huggy type, but just then she rushed and embraced me. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's all right. I have done. I haven't done anything yet. I know what I should do, Tuff. No, please don't do anything rash, dear. I've done my research, and now what needs to be done? But there is no doubt I need to resolve before we can begin the process. I've sent a letter to Flowtown, asking for advice from someone with a lot of knowledge about demons. Someone who has helped me before. Flowtown? Yes, it's a town north of the new capital. Once we have the return mail, we can begin. Listen, Rose, the demon you is danger. I don't think we should delay it. What doubt do you have anyway? And can't you just tell me what we're supposed to do? Should I tell her I know it has to do with my semen? No, Rose is too clever, and Steve said I have to keep my gift a complete secret. I need more time till I have my answers, then I promise you, you will learn everything. Well, we may not have too much time. That Jupiter fellow, I bet my life is going to come back again with a new threat. Let him try. He will be sorry. Oh. <clears throat> I need to lie down and use the chains. The demon. I feel her hangrier than ever. But don't worry, dear. I will control her. And we will get rid of her soon. Looking scared and excited, ashamed and happy, she went inside and shut the door behind her. God, what a mess. I'm sorry for Rose, but also for everyone else. She's trying to control the demon, but can she manage it? And what's to do with the letter from the flow town? If demonic curses work the same way as normal curses, then all I have to do is go to Rose when she's a demon, come on her, and voila. And what if there's more to it, Tuff? We don't have time. Everyone's life is danger, and I need to know what Rose's plan is. I think there was a way to get the complete picture. What if the demon can shed some light on this? She talked earlier. Like she knew what was happening to Rose's head. She will try to trick me, but now I know 
what she is and won't fall for her. I will come back here tomorrow during the day and have a chat with the demon. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the morning, that's what I should do. Okay, it's time. Luckily, Rose still hadn't fixed the broken window. Let's have a friendly chat with the demon. She must be behind a bad curtain. Last time, I didn't know I was dealing with a demon, or wouldn't have been dubbed duped to open her chains. I'll show her now. Mm. She knows I'm here. Good. Hmm. So guys, I'm gonna close the video here. I hope you enjoyed, and see you in the next video. Bye!